I'm at on the Thonia area, but um, my background goes back to Jamaica. Well, the Indigo Jones brand is always evolving and it's basically my most quality artwork and my freshest ideas, or at least that's what I try to keep it. And it's more than just the, the paintings, it's also merchandise. I also do the lighters, I do buttons, I recently expanded into rolling trays. And I hope to make my way further down into grinders, ashtrays, complete kits, all of that. various phases and I would just want to be like an engineer and just make new products so I'd sketch out like oh this would be cool you know this next electronic kind of thing so it was always something creative um, and it always dealt with sketching or drawing in some kind of way but honestly I didn't I didn't see this coming <laughs> but I love what I do I've been taking it seriously for about four years now and it's really paying off the inspiration behind the hat. So actually, the hat came after the brand. <laughs> so this is one of the quotes from the series. Um, I bet I'm still smoking though. And it's actually my favorite, one of my favorites in the series. It's like the ugly one in the session because let's face it, we see it a lot. For that, my major was different. And it was all math or science related. And I was good at it. I was good at it, but I was bored. And and the boredom is what made me change my major because it was like, if I don't want to do it now, I'm not going to want to do it first in my life. And it just got worse and worse. I just became like over it, like getting up, the idea of getting up and going to class, even though it was like a 50 minute lecture, was just so exhausting. <laughs> so I just, I don't know. Um, financial aid started to run low, so I was like, I'm going to take this opportunity to take a year off, and then taking a year off kind of turned into... Okay, taking the pressure off marijuana, I want to say, is something the brand is doing through the art. Like how, um, basically the weed is manipulated into these concepts. None of them are negative, you know what I mean? It's just, this is what it is. It's really like, this is what we stoners go through nothing serious but you know things like that so definitely i want to say in the pop art helps i mean i'm doing pop art just because i genuinely love it but definitely the style of pop art the cartoonism the bright colors it definitely helps and these are the kind of things that stoners like to see as well I could use three words to describe myself. They would probably be creative, energetic, and outgoing. I would choose creative um, because, you know, I'm an artist. I'm not afraid to just do, like, not worry about how, what the outcome is, but just get the ideas out. And a quote I can connect that to, or a belief I can connect that to, is, um, Life is not about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. You can be whoever you want to be just by doing it. Just start doing it. <laughs> you know, the comic series was kind of like, you know, the different blunts you find in a session. And the creamery kind of reminded me of like, a lot of smokers, they've been smoking so long they can't eat without smoking. But, you know, there's the frustration of smoking just to eat. <laughs> You know, so it's kind of like that concept. I just like to play around with the logo and how I use it because the boring signature, you know, gets kind of old. <laughs> the things I want to capitalize on for young artists out there, or young creatives out there, don't be afraid. Don't let someone tell you, oh, you need a backup plan because you might not make it. And I know you've been hearing that since you were like five, but I feel like the backup plan is really a crutch. Like. You start going to school for that backup plan and you stop painting in your extracurricular time. You know what I mean? Just just get to work. And the harder you work, trust me, something's going to come out of it because something always comes out of hard work. <laughs> so that's one thing I want to say. Another thing I want to say is um, 
just do it. Like, do it every day. Just, I mean, of course, don't burn yourself out. You know, take, do it a little bit. But if you have to, take a break. But just keep doing it, and you just keep getting better. Just with time. Automatically. <laughs> I started following my passion, and really the internship kind of helped my mom to be like, oh, well, if you're doing something, you don't have to really go back, you know? Because if I went back, I'd be taking art classes, and there's you, you, there's no getting around that. <laughs> my mom's a cool mom. She cares about my, emo I guess, mental well-being more than, you know, how I'm, I don't know how you say it, like, oh, my daughter's a heart surgeon, you know what I mean? Okay, so... These paintings are actually based off of like vintage ice cream posters that you see on the ice cream truck. So that's kind of why it's like ice cream cone, butsicle, blantana, like in your face. And the 350 is like the price of the cone or the ice cream. And I kind of, the reason I picked 350 is kind of like the most common um, quantity to buy is a 35 a week. So that's why. <laughs> I plan everything I do out just so that it does stay cohesive with the brand. But at the same time, oh, it's definitely still relaxing. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm a pop artist because I love to do it. Like, the pools of color, making sure everything's perfect, making sure everything's flat, there's no gaps. Like, it's really, it's like meditation for me. So, I love what I do. <laughs> Anything I can achieve in life? Honestly? To live comfortably off my passion. To be able to, you know, pay my bills with the art. <laughs> Not necessarily have to clock in and clock out for somebody else. I mean, I would love to do even bigger and better things with the art. Like, give back, and of course, and have something for the kids. Because I really feel like young artists should get more exposure as well. But, really, to just be have the freedom to do this. Non-stop. <laughs>